So you're probably not gonna like this video, but I will show you something you do like. Cause who doesn't like a puppy? Hey, be good. All right, we'll, we'll get to him in a second. All right, so in this video, we're doing a pack update. It's been a while since I update you all on the status of the mutts. And uh, yeah, we've kinda, we made some changes. Um, we've moved some dogs. I have, I have made changes in the pack and uh, rehomed some dogs to some other hunters. So we're gonna get into that later in the video. But first, we're gonna go over this thing down here. Y'all probably, wondering what this this creature is this is uh sun is his name now sun is a puppy out of he's in the box you can't see him right now brother y'all know brother i mean he's he's one of my go-to dogs this is his offspring son so we, we we we're calling him son but i actually call him ding ding and you see why ding ding just kind of fits but likes to chew he's in the chewing stage we got him actually a few weeks ago and I've been waiting to show him on camera, but he's a youngin. And y'all have to let me know in the comments, should I actually call him Ding Ding? My wife who's filming for me doesn't like Ding Ding. She wants him to be called Son. Cause I mean, it's brother and he's out of brother. And this is, and this is Son, his son. So kind of, kind of fit. But yeah, he's a handful. He's the, uh, he's the holler menace. He runs around causing havoc. He's not chained up. So he's just living the life right now doing whatever he wants and uh, extremely, he looks mean right here, but he's actually one of the nicest puppies I've had. So yeah, this is Ding Ding, we're son. All right, yeah, and, and b before we get into the, the pack here, if y'all have noticed, I got rid of the uh, a hair. We just, we just got back from the beach and down there, I was miserable with that long, thick hair. So <laughs> we, uh, <laughs> I got rid of it, you know, saved a little bit on top. My wife likes it. <laughs> Saved a little bit on top though. Got it nice and clean on the sides. I'll, I'll keep doing this because I'm used to pushing my hair. Behind. Anyways, let's, don't worry about that. Yeah, I got a haircut because I know somebody's gonna comment about it. Up uh, first, the goat. You all know her by now. I, she doesn't really need an introduction because if I put out a bear hunting or, or especially cat hunting video, you know she's gonna be in it. Uh, we got my girl Bliss. She's the goat. Coming off last summer, uh, she had the litter of pups, which Three of those are in here. Um, I had four, but we'll get into that in a minute. Um, three of those are in here. So, Bliss is coming off having a litter. Uh, as you can see, she's starting to starting to thin out. Um, since she had the litter, you know, she wants to put on weight pretty easily, but we've got her back rolling this summer. Of course, she's been in the videos this summer, as you all have seen, um, and I'm gonna continue putting out, but Bliss just doing Bliss stuff. Um, maybe, it seems like to me, maybe she's lost a step. But I, she's also not in optimal shape. Where Bliss shines is not like just straight line speed. It's her heart because like you can run her and 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 she will not quit. You know, you can run three bears a day with her and by the third bear, you better believe she's going to be the dog in the lead. That's Bliss's specialty is her heart. And if y'all don't know, when Bliss was what, one? She, she just turned one years old. She had uh, a lung, what is it, lung lobectomy. I was, I was pretty close if I didn't get it. Um, basically she had some horrible horrible infection in her lung and we had to take her to Medvet Columbus in Columbus Ohio they did surgery on her to save her life and it cost me a, a ton of money that I don't want to get into save my girl bliss because she's still here today uh, put me in a really bad situation it was well worth it because I, the memories we've created since then you know I would do it ten times over yeah so when she had that lung lobectomy they went in and moved half of her lung, of one of you know, one half of her lung. So she's got one and a half lungs and still doing what she does. I mean, I, I think that's that's awesome. I mean, when she was a puppy, she broke her leg. Not her front legs, but a rear leg. And she's got rods and pins in there. So old girl has had it tough, but uh, yeah. For everything she's went through, she's done awesome. She's now had a litter, litter of pups. She's got one and a half lungs and uh, had a broken leg as a puppy. So that's why, I mean. I'll probably never have another one like her. And up there next to her is Baby. So these are the two dogs, Bliss and Baby, that I keep inside. Baby is doing excellent this summer. She's really, uh, she's she's exceeded my expectations. She's two years old and Baby is the litter mate to Brother. Um, she doesn't have the nose or the trailing ability or this, the hunt ability that Brother does. That's Brother especially is how hard he'll hunt for a track. Um, but she's just an all around solid dog and really quick. So yeah, this is Baby and uh, yeah, I'm proud of both the 
I'm proud of how they're both doing this summer. We're gonna grab one of these dogs out of the box here and talk about them a little bit. Come on. All right, next up we've got Tammy. Tammy is a, one of the pups out of Bliss, and uh, the sire to the pups is a dog named Johnny um, that my buddy Bucky has. And, and I've showed him in hunts, you've seen him before, but the, the next time I hunt with Bucky, I'm gonna go up and film him and make it a point, because I've had a lot of people ask me about the sire to these pups, and uh, Johnny is a really solid dog and produced some awesome, awesome pups. So yeah, Tammy is a, uh, a, a pup, to just turned one, out of bliss. Um, they just had their first birthday the other day. Doing really good. She's one of the two females I've kept out of the litter. Of course, you've got Tammy and her sister, Biscuit. Tammy is not as far ahead as Biscuit, but I expect her soon to be right there with her. Uh, Biscuit's kind of pulled out ahead, but Tammy was, the, as a puppy, she was my pick of the litter. She was just awesome. And that hog I, I had in the cage um, that I've showed in, in past videos um, that I helped get the pup started on, Tammy was the front runner. She absolutely... She, ate, I mean, she was all about the hog. So, you know, uh, Tammy's still obviously developing. Like I said in the last video, uh, the pups are really starting to figure out where they're not just being, you know, they've been for a while now going on chases and stuff. They're starting to shine and show kind of their individual abilities and, and what they're going to be capable of. So, I'm sure Tammy will be right there with Biscuit soon. All right, next up, my boy, brother. Y'all know brother. Um, he's one of my pack leaders. And, uh, yeah, just a special one to me. I got Brother at seven months old, which I've talked about in previous videos, but I got him at seven months old, and he didn't, he hadn't been hunted or anything yet. So when I first got him, I mean, he was just so behind the other dogs. Like I said, Baby is his litter mate. So I had had Baby from the time she was a wee little puppy. I got Brother at seven months old. Well, baby was absolutely putting it on him, but she had been hunting and fooled with a lot, and Brother hadn't. He was horrible, horrible. And then one day we were bobcat hunting and it was getting dark and Bliss had fooled around on a track and couldn't get it sorted. So I dumped the box out and just let the rest of the dogs out because it was getting dark and we were, we were pretty much done. And Brother gets it out of there and trails it out. Well, up to that point, I thought he was just a complete, you know, I didn't think he was going to make it. And then I realized this dog's got something special. He trailed it out of there. I went and checked him. Sure enough, had the track and it was cold. So then after that, I started giving him every opportunity possible. Like if I found a cat track, him and Bliss were the two on it. And now he's one of my pack leaders. I mean, he's a, a rig dog, a trail dog. Of course, he's got a great nose uh, and he's a catch dog. A great, great bay dog. Um, does excellent at baying. So yeah, this is brother and uh, He'll be one I have, you know, for a very long time. Blood. Mm -hmm. As you can see, very, very nice too. Super, super relaxed around the house. Doesn't cause any issues. Doesn't bark a lot. Can't beat him. <laughs> Next up is the wild man himself. Trigger. Trigger was the one the other day when the bear hopped out in the road. Trigger was the one that turned and came to me and I ran him back in there. That was the first like long race he had been on where they were walking a bear. And I actually, when I loaded him up just now, I noticed a spot right in his rear end where that bear got him. So in the video, I only talked about Biscuit getting bit by that bear. But later on, I found out Baby got it and Debo got it. Um, so Biscuit got, Biscuit got all the glory for being the tough one, but really four of them got it. That, that bear, he, uh, he definitely meant business. But Trigger is doing really good. He is behind, he's right there on Tammy's level. He's not quite there with Biscuit, but keeps getting better. And that's what I'm wanting to see. I'm wanting to see progress every time we go out. Um, and not just, like I said, not just running, but trailing and, and contributing, um, you know, other than just being a pack dog. There's plenty of pack dogs in the world that you can get on Facebook, and uh, which you're not supposed to, but you can get on Facebook and find um, that are sell for four or 500 bucks. That's not what I'm interested in, and, and that's not what I'm breeding for. I'm breeding for all around dogs. And you know, of course, that's what I want. I want them to be able to run, trail, you know, do a little bit of everything. So yeah, but Trigger's coming along well. Uh, he's a good looking hound. And uh, my only complaint about him is he is high strung. He is go, go, go. That's why he's breathing so hard right now is because he's been been wanting to get out of that box because he's wanting to go. Biscuit Let's grab man. another one. Come on. Debo! Let's go, Bobo. So, 
This is Debo. Debo is doing excellent. Uh, he was born the same exact day as my pups, so the same age, um, and he has been the front runner. I mean, last December he was going on a race. So if you go to Kendall Gray's bear hunt he did with me on his YouTube channel, I'll link it up here, down there, somewhere. You'll see it on the screen right now. You can go watch when we actually treed the bear. You can see Debo's name. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm showing it on the screen there. He was in there on that chase, which is awesome. Just turned one. Um, as you can see, big in the rear end, tall dog, uh, real leggy, can move. One thing about them is they can run. And of course, I love a fast dog. But yeah, Debo, uh, he also got it the other day on that bear. I'll turn it right here. So right there, that's the bear's canine hole, canines grabbing him. And why they get him in the rear end is because that bear will lunge out and that dog turns and that bear <sighs> bites down up. The claws typically don't, they usually don't play a factor uh, as far as wounds on the, on a dog, typically. Most of the time, it's just these small canine holes. But yeah, I'm super proud of Debo. He's doing awesome. You'll see him in the videos. Uh, he's tough to load because of my little bumper here and the size of this box and he's a big dog which is one negative i really don't like real big dogs just because they're tough to handle and when you're hunting in a small side by side like this it's just when you have a real big dog it's kind of inconvenient because you're already uh squeezed on space and lastly the reason we ended up with debo so you probably be like why would you get a pup that's born on the same exact day as your pups when you just had a litter well if you remember the dog clyde i had he was unfortunately he got killed last year and um you know it, it's we wanted to get debo because debo is clyde's full brother and clyde was a special dog for us but debo um is hopefully you know carrying on his legacy and right now he's he's doing an awesome job at it so debo is a special one to us um you know and and i think he's going to be he's going to make an excellent all around meat dog all right so biscuit Biscuit was the star of the last video I uploaded. She's doing really good. Quit, ding ding. She is doing really good. I couldn't be more proud of her. Um, she is a very, very calm dog. See how calm mannered she is? I love that. I love a dog that's just so easy to handle. Because not only are you hunting these dogs, but they got to be around your house and stuff. Unlike Ding Ding. Ding Ding seems to be a loud mouth and <laughs> causing problems around here. Um, she is the smallest dog, so she was the runt of the litter. Uh, but she looked the most like Bliss, which Bliss was also the runt of her litter. And the way she's colored up looks just like Bliss. And Bliss's nickname, we call her Biscuit. And she looked the most like Bliss, so when we had the litter, we ended up calling her Baby Biscuit. And now Biscuit is just stuck. Um, but, yeah, I think I think she's going to be good. I don't know what, what kind of nose power she's going to have yet. I don't, But as far as staying in there, even a mean bear gets bit, whatever. She's a, a front runner style dog. And... Uh, of, uh, out of all my pups, I've got the most expectations out of her. It's calm. You would never think this dog would <laughs> do what they can do on bear, but or cats or anything. They are some tough dogs, but it, it, it really is an added bonus when they're this calm and act this good. All right, so you're probably wondering, where's the rest of the dogs? You got Tron, Ranger, and of course I told you DK. So that was the, the three other ones I had. This was not an easy decision. As you all can see, I've got a lot of dogs here. I only I only hunt six at a time. Any more than that, it's just a, tough, a lot for me to handle. And even, especially hunting now out of the side by side, hunting a bunch of dogs is tough. So I haven't been hunting, as you see in the videos. I've got a few comments, where's Tron, where's Ranger? Um, asking where they're at, because for a lot of you all, that's your favorite dog. Basically, I, you know, like I said, I just, I haven't been hunting them this summer. And I hate it, every time we go to hunt, I go load all the dogs up. Tron and Ranger be up there barking. They're and, and they're not getting to go. And I can't stand that. You know, if you're going to have dogs, you need to hunt them. You know, if you have bear dogs, don't leave them up for a year and not hunt them, and then decide you want to be a houndsman again and take them out. You know, it's not fair to the dog because they want to be out there hunting. So I'm not going to be selfish and just you know use them as a tool because they're more than that. Each one of these dogs, you know, we would. I mean, we would do anything for. And so. You know, it would be selfish of me to keep Tron and keep Ranger and, you know, not let them do what they want to do. So Ranger is still here, um, but he's going to go to a new home this week. One, that I know is going to take care of him. And two, where he's going to get to hunt regularly. Um, not just occasionally, you know, like, like he is now, um, which he hasn't, like I said, he hasn't got to run this summer, which is just not fair to him. And Tron, we've already rehomed Tron. Now, 
before you get before you get upset, you will get to see Tron still. And Tron was actually one of my wife's favorite dogs. Um, so this was not an easy decision. And, and he was one of my favorite dogs. I've had him since he was a pup. But like I said, when I have the, all these other dogs, like what I enjoy doing is raising and developing young dogs and then putting them in homes for, with other hunters. Um, and of course I'll hold on to a few, like Bliss and Brother and you know, I plan on holding on to Baby. Um, but some of them, you know, I like to raise, develop, get them, get them close to their max potential and then give them to another home. So Tron went to a friend of mine that I run with regularly and you're still gonna get to see him in the videos. Um, the situation was, he has a rig dog. This the gentleman I gave him to has a rig dog, and he's, I think he said he's 10 years old. So he's, he's right there at retirement. And Tron is an excellent rig dog and tree dog. Um, you see that in the videos. He's not the trail dog that Bliss and Brother are, but he can absolutely start a track. And he's definitely a rig dog. Um, and so that kind of, he, you know, he told me he was looking for one and I was like, well, I've got the perfect one that's not being hunted sitting in my backyard, which is not fair to him. So that's where the rest of the dogs are. You will still get to see him in videos occasionally, but I just couldn't, you know, leave him here and not hunt him. So I just didn't feel like that's the right thing to do. And Ding Ding just brought us a stick <laughs> that we are now going to have to throw in the burn pile. So, yeah. I hope you all enjoyed this. This is the pack update. I know some of you are going to be disappointed about Tron and Ranger because, I mean, I've been putting out bear content for years now. And they have been in almost every single video up until this summer when I've been training all these pups. But you will still get to see them. And they're going to good homes that will continue hunting them and letting these dogs do what they want to do. So, until the next one. We've got quite a few more bears to catch before season comes in. And then when season comes in, it's going to get real. So thanks for watching this, guys. Until the next one.